Let's talk about a lot of the shit that's going on. Let's start with Summer's response after getting popped. Bottom homicide boy. So where do we leave off, chat? Summers did what he had to do, handled the business. Then he came to New York with no security. Michi and I'm talking shit about bro. He's not having it. He handled the business, right? Wasn't the smartest idea. Homicide gangs in the studio with his chain and his watch and stuff. You know what I mean? They talking crazy. <clears throat> so this is what happened from that point on. I ain't lying, you niggas was supposed to kill me, man. I'm beating the fuck out one of you niggas' partners, man. I'm beating the fuck out one of you niggas. Then 20, 30, y'all niggas come jump on a nigga, nigga. I'm a fucking soldier, nigga. Y'all, how the fuck y'all ain't got a nigga eye closed and then, man, it's 30, y'all niggas. What the fuck is y'all doing? Y'all niggas hitting like hoes, man. I'm a fucking soldier, nigga. And you could keep that pussy ass watching chain, nigga. It took 30 of you niggas to get that shit off me. Now I approach one of you, I approach 10 of you niggas with that bitch on. Yeah, it's spitting on niggas' face and everything, man. You was a bitch, nigga. Pussy ass niggas, man. You niggas is hoes. I came out here by myself. No security, no partners, no nothing, nigga. I'm still pressing shit, man. You niggas is hoes. You know what I mean? I feel how you feel. You feel me? Oh, 20 people doing, 20 people um hopping on you, going crazy, putting the feats on you. They're supposed to do you bad, bro. You're supposed to walk out of there with a limp. So snap bone, naked, something, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Every one of you nicks took a turn sneaking me while I was effing over your partner. Remember that. I'm studying your faces and I got a cake baking for you. Can y'all send me this? They said Reno dreads almost here. You bought it? Say it ain't so. You bought those dreads? Damn. So Summers was looking around. I mean, he know faces. He got his eye on a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas fucked up. You know what I mean? Usually when people start jumping people, usually it's that one nigga who's going to come in and get his little grimy little, you feel me? Punch to the back of the head. Just to say he tagged in, some shit like that. Sometimes you got to be careful with that, man, because a nigga going to remember that. That little knuckle sandwich going to cost you your life. You get caught lacking at the grocery store or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, I, I still feel bad for Summers. I still strongly believe that what he did wasn't the smartest thing ever. You know, I was like, damn, I was confused as to where Summers' partners were. I'm like, yo, what's going on, bro? Like, why he's dolo fighting like that? Ain't nobody, like, step behind this. What the fuck? Then we found out that he was out there by himself. With them people back home. With them people back home. You know? It seems like Summers and his people, they ready for war with them opium and them homicide gang dudes. This could be an opportunity for Summers' people to really shine and really show people that they're not to be stepped on. Or this could be an opportunity for homicide gang to really show niggas that they really outside in these streets. Homicide gang, they're really quiet about it. They just trolling still, talking about the chain and watch and all that other stuff. Hey, hey, by the time you touch back home, nigga better have that jury back. Yeah, we suited and booted, yeah. Nigga better have that jury back. Yeah. We ain't even tripping by it, yeah. One thing I will say, Summers took the social media a little too fast. I felt like he should have sat back and let it, you know what I mean, marinate a little bit. Because the internet eventually ended up playing out in his favor, you know what I'm saying? Like, Summer's fan base is really outside going crazy. They out here pushing a, narr a narrative and an agenda that Summer's is better than Homicide. Open them, like, you know what I mean? Bino and Michi, they're really loud with it. I will say that. But they out there telling the Homicide gang, you're not doing no shows in Texas. You see here? Homicide gang. Canceling they shows and stuff. Personally, you just gotta be smart. For you to actually end up doing this show, knowing niggas is about to do some crash dummy shit, it ruins a lot more than um some some street cred. You know what I'm saying? Because they're about to go on tour with Cardi and shit like that. So if they got shows and people are shooting up their shows, it's gonna be hard for them to be on tour and doing venues and shit like that with Cardi. So you kind of want to stay out of a situation like that. You know what I mean? Especially the shows that are in, you know what I mean? Summer City where Summer's niggas could get to them. But they are canceling the shows. I just still can't believe this shit's going on. Now I'm talking about how Summer's recently followed Benji Blue Bills, who's associated with Henchman and Ola Runt, who've been beefing with Homicide and Cardi and ATL for years. So, all right, you know what I mean? Summer's tapping in with the ops. You know, I really don't expect nothing less. That's really how you're supposed to move in this shit. You feel me? Especially if... They ops need to come up with some shit like that. Somebody in their camp gonna need a feature or something like that. Hey, fuck it. You feel what I'm saying? We 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 in this shit together now, basically. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. But that's how you that's that's kind of what shows me that that this beef is actually like real. 
this ain't no internet rap shit. This shit is officially moving to the streets. Like, niggas just put guns up. Homicide Gang test Summer's jewelry. This honestly blew my mind because, like, just when I thought the situation was dying out, and you know what I mean, niggas took the jewelry or whatever, they're not gonna do no federal shit. On the other side, they talking about getting at you, baking cakes, baking cakes for you and shit like that. So, you gotta do how you gotta do. Try to fight one? No. <laughs> But then he goes, I know why he don't give a fuck. So if you've seen the video before, someone's was like, I don't give a fuck about that other shit, that chain and shit like that. But they're saying that this is why he don't give a fuck. Why you say no? I want to see. You cannot I want see. you to test the diamonds. I want to see so the real. So the diamond is real. Look, the diamond is real. Okay, boo. So what's wrong with it? It's fake. It's like it's 50-50. Ain't no 50 But the, the watch is not real. The diamond is real. The watch is not real. The diamond is real. What the fuck does that even mean? Honestly. But that's crazy how they really took that shit to the jewel to test that shit. That's kind of dumb crazy. As you should. That's how I know y'all don't get no type of money. That's why y'all open up the show for under 5K. Oh, shit. When you buy any fully bust down watch, it's going to have some aftermarket parts on it, like the band or the bezel if the company ain't manufactured it fully bust down. That's factory movement, clown. You strictly internet business. Tell all your people post their faces unless they got makeup on how y'all be doing. Damn. You know what I mean? Bought a little aftermarket watch and put some diamonds on it or, or whatever you got to do and boom. It's not all the way real, but it's still expensive, basically. Somebody else also sent me something here. Part two on IG Live when Summer Homeboy talking about homicide gang canceling shows and other shit. But these niggas hoes, man. I swear to God, these niggas ain't what they put themselves out to be like. These niggas really I bitches. Lie, I ain't lying. They call this a homicide gang, man. Ain't, can't, ain't no... Y'all put the kill that nigga, man. Y'all put the kill that nigga, man. Y'all put the kill my brother. Gang. Y'all ever saw that meme with Mike Ruger? <laughs> He's like, if I'm dying, my nigga dying too. Niggas looking at him like, huh? What the fuck? Bro, I don't give a fuck what happens, man. Feel me? If I ever get did dirty, feel me? And my nigga see me on the internet getting did dirty, don't get on the internet talking about, y'all supposed to kill that nigga. Nah, because you know what's going to happen next time a nigga get his hands on me, a couple niggas get their hands on you, they're going to make sure they kill your ass. You feel me? <laughs> chill, like. Yeah. Come on, man. How y'all pull a dreadlocks out? Nah, the pulling hair is crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. And y'all, and, and they got a tour coming up. You hear me? They got a tour coming up. Let's see if they go. Let's see if they'll keep that Houston show on that bitch. Let's see if they keep that Houston show on that bitch. Let's, let's see if they even do that bitch. I promise you that. You hear me? How you gonna be dancing with them niggas chain when we take that shit, twin? Fuck on. Huh? Do my dance for Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's Summer's brother? I think they being a little too loud about this situation. If I was in New York, niggas gonna be shanked. Oh, I can't bring my gun in? Oh, I bet. Yo, see, like, 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 there's no need to be saying that. I'm just keeping a buck with you. Like, there's absolutely no need to be saying any of this. Any of this. Come on, come on. Oh, he said D Savage, you a hoe. Texaco, you a fat, smelly ass nigga that bent that law three years ago. Get your ass on. Texaco? Is it because D Savage made that post where he was like, nah, if, if I was there, fa, 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 fa. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think I saw that. That's crazy, man. Listen, chat. The antagonist tour is coming up. You feel me? We'll honestly see how it goes. I personally uh, wish that them boys can just, you know, I, I personally wish that Summers and them just, you know, hey, take the cloud from all this shit, ride the cloud from all this. The fan base is activated right now. Shit, start dropping music. Do what you got to do. Feel me? The fans are gonna support you right now because you're going against one of the biggest. Uh, you're going against one of the biggest labels in the industry right now. You feel what I'm saying? Even though you're not going against one of the biggest uh, artists on their label, it's still you know what I mean. Opium is opium. You feel me? So it's time for Summers and them to honestly prove themselves. So this is a good opportunity, but I'm not really about to sit here and be like, oh, I hope somebody whack this nigga, or I'm, I'm, I'm nah, I'm, nah, man, like, that's corny as fuck. I mean, I hope this shit blows over and the niggas just get into this rap shit and get money out of this. Respectfully, I don't think anybody else gonna say that, but keep it a buck. That's that with the summer situation. Anything else comes up, y'all let me know. Till then, your boy eight. I feel great.